All right, we're back. I don't know if you can see me or not, but we're going to talk about uh, some complex conjugates of complex numbers here. So um, I have a text here from a practice. We're in number three and number four. So here's number three. We're going to write the complex conjugate of each of these numbers. This is a complex number where A is 9 and then B, the imaginary part, is negative 24. And the complex conjugate of a complex number is just when you take the opposite of the b value. So here the b value is negative 24, and we're just going to switch that to positive 24. So these two right here are complex conjugates of each other because the b value has been switched or is opposite. I'm going to see the, the value in that here in, in just a second. So for a general example, we have m plus n times i. This is a complex number with, under the circumstances that i is the square root of negative 1, which we can go ahead and assume that. So the complex conjugate of that would be m minus n times i, which is the value of imaginary parts. The purpose of this, why are complex conjugates useful? Well, we're going to use these because if you take complex conjugates, in this case I'll take 9 minus 24i and 9 plus, plus 24i, and I'm going to take the product of those two things, multiply them together. So we do 9 minus 24i, that quantity, times the quantity 9 plus 24i, the complex conjugates, and then we do the distribution, and we get 81 from 9 times 9, positive 216i from doing 9 times positive 24i, so on and so forth. So once we carry out this multiplication or this distribution, we get 81 plus 216i minus 216i minus 576i squared. This comes from negative 24i times positive 24i. 24 times 24 is 576. i times i is i squared. Now, the value in this is that a uh, couple things. First of all, we notice that we have these two, uh, these imaginary numbers are opposites. Positive 216i minus 216i, those simplify and cancel each other out, they're zero. And then we have this i squared, well, i squared is negative 1, because i is the square root of negative 1, therefore i squared is negative 1. So this can be simplified to 81 plus 576, because it's negative 576, and then the i squared is negative 1, changing that to a positive, and then 81 plus 576. Six is 657. So, purpose of the complex conjugates here. The product of complex conjugates is not just unique to this case, it's true of all complex conjugates. The product of two complex conjugates is a real number. So, we've kind of eliminated the i. It's the imaginary, imaginary part is gone. So, the product of two complex conjugates will always result in a real number, which will be used in our fourth example.